Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're gonna go over how to draw a box plot, otherwise known as a box and whisker graph or data plot. So a box plot is going to be best used if you have a very large set of data. We're actually gonna be tying into a previous lesson where we learned about finding the different quartiles, quartiles one, two, and three, basically the big median and then the baby medians. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're gonna be very confused in this lesson. So go ahead and check out the video in one of these cards or down in the description. Check that out, then come back because that's going to tie into this. If you are a master at that, this is going to be super easy. Let's go into our first example. Okay, so here's our first set of data. Now, when we are going to do a box plot, we're working with median. We're finding the big median and then the baby medians. In order to find a median at all, we're gonna to have to put these number in order from least to greatest. That is the major, major step one. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and just look for my smallest number, 20. I'm going to write it and cross it out so I know I didn't forget it. 20, 31. Okay, double check, make sure all the numbers are crossed off down below. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Recount, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also, the fact that I know that I have eight numbers, which is an even number, means that my median is going to be two numbers that I have to find the mean of to find the true center. So. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna jump. One, two, one, two. One, one, that's as far as I can jump, so that means these two are my median. However, it is not the true median. I need to find the mean, so I'm gonna add them and divide by two. In this case, I have 53 and 54, and the only thing in the middle would be 53 and a half. So in that case, our Q2, AKA our median, is 53.5. Five. Again, if you add 53 plus 54 and then divide that by two, you will get 53.5. Now, because I have two numbers, this makes it really easy to find quartile one and quartile three. I'm just going to split them in the middle. Now, if I have just one number, that's my median, I'm going to cut around it so no one gets the median. But because I have two, it can be evenly split. So that means these numbers are going to be our quartile one. Let's go ahead and rewrite those so we can find the median. So my median, I'm gonna go ahead and jump, jump. And once again, I have two. So I'm going to do 31 plus 42. So that means I have 73. And I'm gonna go ahead and divide that by two. Two goes into seven three times because that's going to be six. I have one left over. Bring that down, two goes into 13, six times that gives me 12. I have one left over, decimal, decimal, zero, bring it down. Two goes into 10, five times. So my Q1 is going to be 36.5. Now for Q3. Q3, I am looking at these numbers. Instead of rewriting, I'm just gonna work with what I got. So if I jump in the middle, I see that 60 and 75 are my two medians. So I need to find the mean of those. So I'm going to do 60 plus 75 and 12, 13, 135. But I have two numbers. So I'm going to divide that by two. And five times. So my Q3 is going to be 67.5. So from here, I have my Q1, Q2, and Q3. Okay, so now that we have our quartiles one, two, and three, we're going to draw our box plot or our box and whisker diagram. It doesn't matter which one you start with, but you have to plot each one. So quartile one is 36.5. Notice my line across the bottom does not start at zero, but it does consistently count by fives. I made this fit whatever I needed, which is totally fine. So I have 36.5, 36 in the middle there, and I'm going to draw a line rather than a dot, okay? And now I need my quartile two, 53.5, 51, two, three in the middle there. There's my line. And then quartile three, 67.5, 66, 67. I'm gonna draw it in the middle. Okay, so there are my quartiles. I'm going to now connect them and turn them into a box. Now, here's our box plot but I'm missing one thing, which is our whiskers. Our whiskers are going to be the highest and lowest number 
out of our data. So if I look back at our data, I'll say the smallest number is 20, which is, oh, I need to add to my box plot. So I'm gonna come over here. Here's 20. So 20 is my lowest number. And then my highest number that I had was 89. So this would go five. So we took up this entire board over here. And that's our box and whisker plot. So remember to find your quartiles, your big median and your baby medians. And then you're going to plot those quartile one, two, and three turn it into a box, hence the box plot. And then don't forget your whiskers, your lowest and your highest number. All together, there is your box and whisker plot. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.